But this kitchen wizard did not spring from divine inspiration alone. The story of the very first microwave oven can trace its roots to the terrors of war, American ingenuity, and one very important melted chocolate bar. The microwave developed from military technology. The wartime duty of microwave radiation was to be the magic behind radar. Radar is like a searchlight, so pulses go out to the object maybe five miles away, and then they're reflected back to the receiver, and that measures the distance. Radar was perfected for use against the Nazis in the Second World War. It allowed the Allies to spot the enemy long before the enemy could reach them. In America, the main manufacturer of radar components during World War II was Massachusetts Raytheon Corporation. We supplied about 80% of the microwave magnetrons. That's the tube that makes radar operate. In early 1945, Raytheon engineer Percy Spencer was hard at work in the lab to improve these glorious machines. One afternoon, Spencer got hungry while he was working. He reached into his pocket for a chocolate bar and was flabbergasted to pull out a gooey mess. When they stood in front of high-powered radar, they'd get warm. So that was something that was on the back of his mind. But when the chocolate bar melted, flash, the light bulb went on. Spencer was inspired. He sent an assistant for a bag of uncooked popcorn. Then he spread the corn over the table near the magnetron and waited. Less than a minute later, the kernels began exploding. Spencer was now certain that the microwaves themselves were doing the cooking. And it was an auspicious beginning. Percy Spencer had made the first batch of what would become the world's most popular microwaved food, popcorn. The microwave energy is like rubbing your hands together, only it rubs the molecules of food together as they are vibrating 3,000 million times a second. Spencer could see that he was on the verge of a revolution. He knew housewives across America would rejoice if he could free them from their clunky, slow ovens. And just as important, the war would soon be ending, and Raytheon needed new products for the peacetime economy. We were looking for ideas to perpetuate the company. This looked like a damn good idea. So Mr. Marshall, who ran, controlled the company, told Spencer to go full blast ahead. Spencer was put in charge of a team of well over 100 engineers and mechanics. Their task, to overhaul this military technology into a household appliance. The idea of uh, encapsulating it in a box uh, came afterwards. Uh, in fact, the original patent shows a conveyor belt going in front of a, an open-air magnetron. But the final design looked very much like a conventional oven, with one big difference. Housed in a refrigerator-sized cabinet, the first working microwave oven weighed in around 600 pounds and stood just under six feet. An employee contest dubbed the new invention the Radar Range. The behemoth put out 3,000 watts of power. So this was three times as powerful as the highest power unit on the sales on the market today, and maybe five times as powerful as the average unit. It worked so fast that the company dubbed it stopwatch cooking. A few suggested cooking times? Well done steak in 50 seconds. Baked potato in two minutes. Fried egg in 12 seconds. Raytheon's chief executive, Lawrence Marshall, told his wife about it. Mrs. Marshall wanted to try out the new invention, so the CEO brought it home. Special plumbing had to be installed to service the water-cooled magnetron, but the family was thrilled. Two years later, in 1947, Raytheon marketed a commercial model. It was essentially the same as the prototype, except more compact. 
it sold for $3,000, roughly equal to the average yearly household income at the time. The Wonder Cooker was just too expensive for Joe and Jane Average, so it was targeted to railroad dining cars, restaurants, and shipboard kitchens. But they weren't selling like hotcakes, even though they could make hotcakes in seconds. It took many years for us to realize that you didn't need a radar quality magnetron to heat food. About 20 years, in fact. After Raytheon bought the Amana Corporation in 1965, the radar range project was brought back to the front burner. But after we bought Amana, they decided that they should have a kitchen top model to so hell with the high power. Amana created a smaller, less powerful countertop model that cost only $500. The father of the microwave oven, Percy Spencer, died in 1970. But he did live long enough to see the sales of his invention take off. By the end of the 70s, sales of microwave ovens had outpaced conventional ranges. No kitchen was complete without a compact, convenient microwave oven. Including the kitchen of Raytheon CEO Lawrence Marshall. For 30 years, that first microwave had been humming in Mrs. Marshall's kitchen. Finally, in 1976, she asked for a replacement. And she said that uh, there were many advanced models out. Could I get her one of the new Amana models? Norman Krim replaced Mrs. Marshall's microwave and brought the original one back to Raytheon. He understood the historical significance of the oven. People have said that this is the first important improvement in cooking since the caveman was cooking on an open fire. <laughs>